Churchin Rush Churchin Rush born Eugene Rush November 9, 1909 July 8, 1995 was an American psychiatrist. Life Churchin Rush was born in Naples, Italy to Swiss parents. He studied at the University of Zurich, Switzerland and moved to San Francisco in 1943 to head a project at the newly opened Langley Porter Psychiatric Institute of the University of California, San Francisco. He remained as professor at the University of California until his retirement in 1977. He also maintained a private psychiatric practice. Work A 1948 study of his catalogued ways in which sick patients were poorly adapted to their social environments. This had an influence on the study of psychosomatic illness and stress, emphasizing the role of patients' inability to adapt to environmental situations rather than focusing on internal psychic conflict as had been the approach of Franz Alexander. Rich's work continued around the general concept of environmental adaptation and it remained consistent in this respect throughout his career. The early volume communication, The Social Matrix of Psychiatry in 1951, with Gregory Bates and Setuis, his work alongside and in some senses intertwined with his co-author, a well-known anthropologist who also focused upon systems and adaptation. Rich's own work in psychiatry was already quite advanced in this area. His essays from 1953 and on were focused upon one child's need to adapt in the family of upbringing to the idea that this adaptation to others was at the same time the organizing of personality and identity as performance habits and then three the consequence of applying this habitual performance system in the broader social milieu consequences that in some cases were favorable and in others disastrous. Rich was also aware that the broader social milieu was composed of a great number of subsistence to which one must adapt, including one the schoolhouse, two the sports field, three the dating scene, four the romantic relationship, five the employment site, six the church, to name a few. In the book Therapeutic Communication, Rich largely explained his general theory of how prior training could create either hazard for people in terms of how they interpret and respond to new environments and then his primary clinical contribution the notion that treatment of this inadequacy of social techniques, in particular those associated with communication, could resolve pathology expressed in terms of physical e.g., ulcers, interpsychic e.g., anxiety, and interpersonal e.g., unstable relationships problems. This therapeutic counseling focused on the interpretation and production of communicative action as a social technique. In this third communication, written earlier, Rouge focuses upon much of what is described above in terms of failure to adapt from social techniques of origin to social techniques of imminent systems. Nonverbal communication, much like McLuhan's The Mechanical Bride, Goffman's Gender Studies and a variety of other publications in that era, was largely a picture book the pictures displaying conventional images of people with discussions of how these images displayed in images what Rouge described as metacommunication and analogic communication depending upon the time he wrote. The volume was intended to provide a context for understanding that the meaning of utterances word sets was dependent upon the performative elements surrounding them. For Rouge this idea of word set utterances digital message being interpreted alongside performance features and analogic content such as location, equipment and gestures was critical to the understanding of the event. This would be true for the family of origin and the social systems in which the adult moves. For example, the digital content of the word set I don't want to love without you varies in its meaning depending on whether the speaker says it on one knee holding an engagement ring and roses or whether he shouts it from the ledge of a 20-story window. This book is understood as the semiotics of Rouge, but the volume does not represent his transition to semiotics in any more degree than it was much earlier. The volume semiotic approaches to human relations, for example, does not in its 800 pages represent Rouge's attempt to fathom semiotics in its post roland Bozier. It is instead an attempt to find a location for publication of the collected essays of George and Rouge. The volume appears in Thomas Sebiok's impressive series called Semiotics and Human Relations. It appears that Sebiok had been given discretion with respect to the series and that he was interested in the monumental publications of Rouge who purported to call in the expression nonverbal communication starting 20 years earlier in journals. The extensive table of contents, however, locates the term semiotics on only three pages in the 800-page work. Semiotics was, indeed, a critical term in Rich's book, commonly equal and related were sign, signal, statement, message, and so forth, many of them having dramatically changed in their characterization over the last five decades. The work thus hovers between the classical and outdated, so that it must be read with a critical eye. It is nevertheless genius. Rouge has several other works of merit in his legacy.
He deserves a better place in intellectual history than he has received a place that the soul Sabiok attempted to give him by publishing the collection. Secondary writers who reconstitute Rusia's work in contemporary forms are necessary, however. Nonverbal Communication 1956 with Weldon Keyes He later took a more semiotic approach, collected in the volume Semiotic Approaches to Human Relations 1972. Until recently, no pictures of Rusia have been available and others such as Hans Rusch, Bateson and Proudhon have appeared in his place. The errors can be avoided through dust jacket images presented herein. Publications 337 pp 804 pp 352 pp 136 pp